Hola YouTube, bienvenido de nuevo a mi canal Linkitec. Who am I kidding? I don't speak Spanish. So today I'm really excited with this new bypass method I discovered. So if you want to bypass your Samsung device, keep watching. So today we'll be working with the Samsung G532 most notably known as the Samsung Galaxy J2 Prime. Now this is a phone that has been recently released on November 2016. Now if you'd like me to do a review on this product, you can just drop a like and comment and I'll get back to you. To do this bypass is simple. What you'll need is a micro SD card and these two files. A link will be added in the description for both. So just paste it over to your micro SD card with either a card reader or mount it in another phone because the J2 Prime does not allow you to mount the SD card from within it. So as you all know, with a new release of a phone, there would be a new security patch. So with the upgraded security, Samsung has locked most of the external features. If you have watched my other videos, which you should, you will realize that many of my previous methods don't work on this device. Creating a pattern lock does nothing, it doesn't allow you to access the camera and there's no more slide in the emergency calls to access the internet options, add in calls or messages. But guess what? No worries at all. I've discovered another way to bypass Samsung's Galaxy Google verification. Now Samsung is going to hate me for these exploits I'm showing, but it ain't my fault. They're just leaving it open. Now this exploit is really simple. All you're going to do is enable a talkback by tapping the home button three times. Now from the top of the screen, make an L pattern and there should be a drop menu where you can access the text-to-speech settings and in turn access the main settings. Just remember to turn off the talkback by tapping the home button three times because it does get a little bit irritating. Now once you're in the main settings, you can just slap in your SD card.
go to maintenance wait for it to load and then press storage and then explore. If the first time your micro SD card doesn't read, just reinsert it. Go to the root of the memory card and then go to the two files you just copied from your PC. Now make sure and install the Google account 6 fix before you install the FRP bypass because the FRP bypass would not work without the Google account fix. Once that is done, you will install the FRP bypass app and then launch it. Once it loads up, go to the top right corner of the screen and click browser sign in. And input whatever Gmail account you have access to. So once you reach this far, please drop a like and subscribe for more content and help a brother out. Now once you've done signed in, it's basically it. From here you can leave it as is or you can do a factory set from within the device. And that's it. You're in your phone once again. So go check out some of my other videos. Click that like button. Click that sub button. Help out a brother. And if it really helped you out, you can also leave a donation by clicking the link on the video or in the description.